Taste test time. Vegan chili oil ramen. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another Cook With Me video, yay! So today's video, I am going to try out a viral internet recipe once again. Yes, I am going to be making a vegan version of chili oil ramen. Oh my God. When I saw this, I was like, ah, I need to make that. I don't know why it took me this long to finally make it, but here we are. I haven't tried this, but I feel like it's going to be delicious. So if you wanna see how it all goes, well then keep on watching. So just a quick reminder that there are some spots still available for my vegan trips to Thailand and Bali. Those will be linked down below if you wanna come with me and my friend Daniel on a Thailand or Bali trip or both. You guys, last year I went to the Thailand and Vietnam with a bunch of you guys and it was so much fun that I wanted to do it again this year. So this year we're doing Thailand and Bali. So if you wanna to come to one or the other or both, check out the links down below. You can sign up and the spots are limited so make sure you don't miss out. All right, now let's get on with our chili oil ramen. Yeah. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some instant noodles, guys. We're gonna need to find some vegan-friendly instant noodles. Now, lucky for us, <laughs> there are lots of accidentally vegan or actually vegan instant noodles out in the market, and uh, there's lots of Korean ones as well. As long as you're not in Korea, it is easy to find vegan-friendly instant noodles, okay? <laughs> when I was in Korea, I could not find vegan instant noodles, but when I'm in Canada, I can easily find it. I don't know what it is about the manufacturing process, but even the same brand of instant noodles sometimes is not vegan in certain countries, but it's vegan in other countries. Very strange. I'm gonna be using this one that I found the other day, Vegetasty noodle soup, okay? So you wanna get the ones where it's like supposed to be a soup. So I'm using this one. I don't know how this tastes, I haven't tried it, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure you could use basically anything that is supposed to be like a soup. So it has that like soup packet. That's what we're looking for. So what we wanna do is break open the noodles, okay? And then what we wanna do is we wanna cook the noodles maybe a little bit less than you would to have it fully cooked. Usually it's about five minutes. So this one says four minutes. So I'm gonna cook it for about maybe three minutes. So I already have some water boiling here. So let's just Chuck that in. Okay, let that boil. And then we're gonna cook this. And while you're cooking, you can prepare other things or you can just chill, do whatever, okay. All right, so while we're waiting for the noodles to boil, which is not gonna be that long, I'm gonna start heating up the oil. So I've never actually made chili oil before, so I'm actually very excited, but also a little nervous. So first, we're gonna heat up some neutral oil. I just have some oil already in this pan. So I'm just gonna place it on here. And apparently, you're supposed to like, Wait till it kind of sizzles so that when you put a chopstick on it, it kind of like, you know, sizzles a little bit. I don't think she's ready yet. So in the meantime, we're gonna prepare what else is going into your chili oil. So we have here some sesame seeds. We also have some minced garlic. I have some cracked black pepper. And we're gonna add in the goodies from inside the ramen packet. This is such a great ramen hack. So first, I am just gonna add in this like vegetable stuff because I'm not gonna waste it, okay? And then, you don't wanna add in the entire seasoning packet because it's gonna be too salty because technically you're supposed to have it with soup. So I'm gonna add about, a, you know, maybe, um, I think it's about two thirds of it. So that's what we're gonna do. So not the whole thing, a little less, and you can save the rest, I don't know, for a rainy day. Okay, I feel like this is, ooh, is it already hot? That was kinda fast. Ooh, okay. So this is the moment of truth. Hopefully it sizzles nicely. Ooh. Ooh, my lord. I really don't want to waste this oil. I'm gonna get a spatula. Okay, so I guess that's how you make chili oil. Quite easy. I'm just gonna give it a... Mmm. Okay. Woo. Spicy. Mmm. -hmm. There you go. Okay, so I lied. Um, you do wanna cook the noodles until they are basically all cooked. And then I drained it and I'm just gonna throw this in here. Ooh! Okay, now I'm just gonna mix it. It might already smell so good. Ooh, you guys, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so, oh, 
You have no idea how much I wanna eat this right now, but that's what it looks like. Now you can just eat it like this, or we're gonna take it one step further because we're gonna make a vegan fried egg and put it on top. So I have here some extra firm tofu. It's gonna be very simple. Again, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm gonna cut it quite thinly. This uh, tofu egg recipe is on my blog. I mean, this whole thing's gonna be on my blog, so don't you worry. And honestly, I shouldn't have washed the other pan. I should've just used the residual oil. I was going to do that, but my brain did not work. So I'm gonna use another pan because I already soaking the other pan, so <laughs> what a waste of residual oil. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we got here a very thin piece of extra firm tofu. I am going to make it a little bit round to make it look like, you know, an egg, sort of. You know, you don't have to do this but I just want to. Ooh, that's what I forgot. I was supposed to add rice vinegar. Whoops, yeah, I'll add it now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was supposed to add rice vinegar to this or any sort of vinegar, I think, but um, I forgot, so I'm adding it now. So what I wanna do is pan fry this egg white situation, okay? So I guess we are going to use some more oil. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. Now, what I wanna do is I kinda wanna make it kinda crispy a little bit. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna add a little bit of cornstarch just on just a small amount, like you don't need a lot, okay? Ah! Or a lot, I don't know. I just kind of want to make it like a little bit crispy on the outside. Should create a nice layer, hopefully. We're experimenting together. Okay, now we're just gonna place this and then just kind of make sure it's getting nice and oily. Oh. We're gonna cook it for a couple minutes until it's nice and golden. All right, so whilst we are cooking the egg white, we're also gonna make the egg yolk. Yes, my friends, again, this is all optional. You've seen me make this egg yolk before. This is actually a recipe by my friend Mary at Mary's Test Kitchen. Check her out, I'll link her video down below. And this egg yolk is very easy. So I have here some water in a bowl, and then into that bowl we're gonna add cornstarch. Beloved cornstarch. And then we're also gonna add some turmeric. Turmeric's gonna give it that lovely yellow color. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna mix it, like so. And then, we're just gonna pop it in the microwave for, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then mix it in another however many seconds until it becomes kinda nice and gooey. Okay, it kinda thickens up a little bit. So, let's do that. All right guys, so here it is right here. I first did 30 seconds, then I did 15 seconds, and as you can see, it's thickened up nicely thanks to that cornstarch and quite a nice bright orangey color. And now all we have to do is add in some vegan mayo. This adds that creaminess. Ooh, look at that color change. Beauty! And the magic ingredient, which is going to make this taste very, very eggy, black salt. Okay, or kalanamak. So we're just going to mix it. Already smells very eggy to me. Look at that. So it's more like a very runny egg yolk, but I couldn't be bothered to try anything else. This is one of the easiest yolk recipes, and also I think it tastes the most realistic. Let me just, mm, honestly, it's so good. Anyway, here we have the egg white. It's gotten like slightly crispier. You don't need to add that cornstarch, but I kind of just wanted a little bit of that crispier sort of situation, okay? But um, that part is totally optional. And honestly, I generally like to also use medium firm tofu for this because I find that it like crisps up nicely on the outside, but it's still nice and soft on the inside, which I feel kind of mimics, you know, an egg a little bit better, like a fried egg. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. Anyway, so, oh my God, I think we're almost done. So I'm just gonna turn this off. Now we wanna add more kalanamak onto the egg white. We're just gonna add a tiny amount just to make it taste eggy. Mm -hmm. It is salty as well, it is technically salt. So just watch out for how much you add. Now we have everything ready. Now we can put it all together. All right, so we have the noodles here. And I'm going to add lots of green onion because that seems to be the thing. Okay, ooh, and we gotta love that color. And then we're gonna add that fried egg. And now I'm just gonna spoon that egg yolk on top. I'm gonna top with a few more sesame seeds. Ooh, you guys, there it is. Doesn't that look delicious? And our vegan chili oil ramen with a vegan egg is ready. 
Now let's taste it. You guys, are we seeing this? Oh my God, you guys, come on. <gasps> that looks so good. That looks so good. Time to try. All right, so first, I'm just gonna make sure I get all things in one bite. So I'm just gonna break up our vegan egg. Get some of that green onion. Taste test time. Vegan chili oil ramen. Mmm. Mmm. That is next level. Guys, that's so good. Oh my god. Honestly. If you miss fried eggs, try making that. Mmm. And that combination of that vegan egg with the noodles. Oh, makes it almost creamier because we have that, you know, yolk. This is a must try. It is so different from having the soup version, but oh my God, it's actually like so good. Okay, it feels like restaurant quality. If you're too lazy to make the yolk, just make the egg white, just pan fry some tofu or just like omit it, okay? You can also just add in beans for some protein if you want to, but I think the, the vegan egg goes really, really well with this. The recipe is linked below in a blog post. Try it out, you guys, and if you like it, make sure you give me a five-star review on my recipe. It's in the blog post. If you just go straight to the bottom of the recipe, you'll be able to leave a five-star review, and those help me a lot. And of course, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, and let me know if there's any other viral recipe that you want me to veganize next or just any recipe in general that you want me to try veganizing this is so delicious i am going to be in a very happy place for the next five minutes as i eat this yes and don't forget my trips to thailand and bali are linked down below so if you guys want to come along to one or more of the trips make sure you book it before all the spots run out guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye